Matthew 6. <clears throat> Take heed that they do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thy alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest thy alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father which sees thee in secret shall reward thee openly. Now, we live in the day and age. Uh, I want to thank a friend on Facebook, Ju Julie, for giving me this idea today. We live in a day and age that when we turn the media on, the newspapers and the computer, this person in a restaurant gave a $1,000 to watch this person help other people in a video. Person helps other person out. Person gives this amount of money. And it ends up in the media. And they sound the trumpet. Man at, at drive through paid for three people's meals. And Jesus said, that's not to be done. And granted, some people, they do it out of innocent part. And maybe somebody else reported it to the media. But it's amazing how these little stories end up on the news. And there's only really two parties that would have known, the giver and the receiver. And yet there are people out there, there are Christians out there that they blow that trumpet. Look at me, what I'm doing. And I have been accused of that. You know, you're doing the street ministry so people think of you, look at you, and honor you. The street ministry that we have outside the legal matters, there's only three people that know my name. And if they, and anybody else know my name, they know my name from the legal matters that we've had. And uh, they come, they come out of my mouth, they know about Jesus. <clears throat> and I'm not there about myself. I'm there to preach the gospel because Jesus said, go in the world and preach the gospel. And God has given me that ministry, that opportunity. But there are Christians <clears throat> who will do things for others. So the pastor will give them recognition before the congregation. And I've, I've been in that. Oh, we want to thank this family for giving us money for whatever thing. We want to thank this family. And, and then there's that recognition that people won't do anything unless openly from the pulpit we get a thank you from the pastors and the deacons and, the, you know, how great of a job that, you know, <clears throat> we picked up that piece of paper on the floor. Now, I didn't pick up that piece of paper because if I didn't, if I picked up that, you know, the pastor wouldn't recognize it out of the pulpit. And that's wrong. Now, I'll tell you something else I believe is wrong that I don't do. <clears throat> I think it's a sin. I'm going to give money to the church. Whether I'm going to give cash and no one knows about, well, you can't do it. Well, you put it in check. You you have the church accountant record your offerings. So they know it's got to be you. And then you get at the end of the year, you get the, the tablet form, the paper, the printout of what you've given to the church. And I'm going to go tell the IRS. I'm going to deduct it off my my taxes. I had a pastor tell me one time, well, you ought to do that, to tell the, the government officials on how much you give to church. I don't ever claim. And when I'm given such a document by any church that I'm in, when I open up the envelope and I see what it is, I, I completely fold it and I put it somewhere. I'm not interested in telling the government and telling people what I give what I don't give. That's between me and God. And I've done many things between God and me and, and somebody else. And there's sometimes I wonder, I wonder that when I give a testimony, did I blow what I just read? 
And the fact is that when we have to do something because we want the pastor to acknowledge it, we want to make it in the newspapers, we want to be on, on, the, on the video of the news agency, though we're against the news. Whoa, fake news, fake news, fake news. Hey, look what I did. Oh, I can't stand paying taxes, taxes, taxes. All right, this is how much I gave Jesus. Whatever line that goes on. That's blowing a trumpet. And Jesus said, you got your reward. When that pastor comes out, out of the pulpit or even not in the pulpit, and is that your gratification you've done somebody for somebody in your church to say, hey, look at look at me. Or that, it, that you put it in the news, you sent it to the news agency. That's sounding your trumpet. You know, you get these things. Any people of importance, any people of fame and honor. And, you know, they're going to work at a soup kitchen. Here's the cameras. No, they're doing it so the cameras can see. And, oh, look what a great person they are. But what is their life behind the camera? What is their life behind the recognition? What is their life? What is their character between them and God in secret? And what rewards will the Christian get in glory? And it would be funny to say, or the fact is, when we get to the judgment seat of Christ, if there's that opportunity that they walk up to Jesus and say, Jesus, what about this I did in my church? And Jesus say, wood, hay, or stubble. But I did. You got the recognition. You got to, you know, when you go up there and we, and we do a special music or we sing a special for Jesus and everybody claps and I love the clapping. Well, friend, that moment of clap, if you do it not for Jesus, but for everyone to clap at you and be pleased with you, that was your sensual short reward. Whereas you could do it for the Lord, and I'm just going to do it for the Lord, and people like it, they like it. If they don't like it, they don't like it. But Lord, I hope I please you with it. And the only thing I'm doing it, whatever it is, I'm doing it for the Lord Jesus Christ. And it could be a gold, silver, precious stone for all eternity. Now, I'm not saying that people are not going to recognize you, and people are not going to honor you, but when your motive, when you call the media, you call the media, you call the newspapers, you call everybody to the attention of something you did. Look what I did. Look what I'm going to do. You call it to the pastor's attention. You call it to the deacon's attention. You call it to the people sitting in your church. Look what I'm going to do. I had I had seen a, a video. and called the dollar dance and this is what we're talking about here they get up and they march around the room everybody who has a dollar to put in the collection plate box wherever it is and everybody who has a five dollar bill and everybody who has a ten dollar bill and everybody who's got you know a twenty dollar bill and whoever's got a hundred whoever's got two hundred dollar bills whoever's got and to the very last person, he's got the ultimate money that no one else gave. And everybody play the beat and, and do the songs because here's the man that gave the most money for a show. And that man would be wrong to think he's going to get the reward in heaven. Now, I'm not saying there's going to be no recognition. But we're not to do it for the sole purpose of recognition. You know. Another thing, children to memorize uh, me uh, scripture verses. Are you against that? No, I'm not against it. But when they memorize that scripture for next Sunday school, in order to get the Tootsie Roll, to get the lollipop, or get the bubble gum, 
That's not going to be honoring to God. They didn't learn it because they wanted to learn it. They didn't learn it for the glory of the Bible. They didn't learn it for Jesus Christ. They didn't learn that, that my Sunday school teacher thinks that this verse is so important that it could be used somehow in some way in my life. No, but I, I learned that verse so I could get a Tootsie Roll. Well, that Tootsie Roll is your moment of fame on earth that you won't get in heaven. I'm going to go out and win souls and because the pastor will be there. I'll hang around the pastor and I'll get recognition by the pastor because I went out and won souls. Yes, that moment of fame that you got on the earth, but you won't get the eternal rewards. I had it one time in a church when the pastor wanted to de church me because I did not get his pastoral authority on my calling into the ministry. And he called me into his into his into his desk. He says, you know, you know, when he preaches message, I don't ever know how much people give in this church. I don't check the books. I don't have any recognition what people give to this church. Well, come to find out he was the bookkeeper of the church. Liar. And so he called me into his office. He says, you know, I've been checking my records about you, Mr. Hayward. And I have a record of you not ever giving one penny to this church. Ah, you don't check the records, do you? And I walked out of the office. And my wife, Lisa, asked me, she says, well, what was that about? I said, I says, I'm glad I told you never to record how much money we give. And I said, what we do is, I told my wife, Lisa, I said, any money we're giving to this church, and this was long before this. I says, you write it down in an envelope. This is tithe. This is missionary. This goes to this mission. But don't you dare put it in cash. Don't you dare put our name on it. And then, you know, the lying pastors, oh, I don't ever check how much you give. Yes, they do. And then during that period of time, I did that because, you know what? I didn't want... I knew of a man who took care of another church's finances. And he would sit at the table and this man would tell you how much other people gave in the church. That's why I told Lisa when we went to a new church, don't put our name down. Put it in an envelope, tell them what that money is for and who it's for. But don't put it after all that. There are times, you know, I leave gospel tracks out and anywhere. I don't make a big deal of it. There are things I do for the Lord. I don't make a big deal of it. But there are Christians who, because they want that moment of gratification from somebody other than Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, it is a sin. And when we do get the glory, you will not find any rewards. You got it here. So whatever you're going to do, do it full heartedly to the Lord and not unto man. And let God the Father bless. Now listen, there'll be people, you get up and sing for the Lord. They may clap. But that wasn't your reason. You may do nursery service and they may thank you with a card or, 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 you know, call you at the end of the church. All right. I like to have um, the nursery people stand up. And everybody look at, our, look, at, look at hard workers in nursery. Look at our, have our Sunday school teachers stand up and, and see who the people are working in the Sunday school. That's fine. But when you do it for recognition, for others to be seen, as we read Matthew 6, 1 through 4, that is your reward. And when you do it between you and God without anybody else knowing it, or if somebody else does find about it, you did it not to be found out, but you did it for the Lord in secret. Then there's a reward by the Father, Christians. And I, I, I'm, I'm sad to say that with all this stuff that 
the media recording, you know, people do, people give, people, uh, I'm afraid that's going to affect, if it hasn't affected the church already, that Christians are going to go, oh, what can I do for all to see? Stop right there. Do it for the Lord, not for man. When you give money to the church, don't give it for the IRS form. Because whatever you gave to the church and you claim it on the IRS form, that's your recognition. Now, I'm here to tell you, and you may not want to believe it, but I don't care. I'm here to tell you, whatever you give to the church and you put on the IRS, you got your reward by the IRS. You won't get it in heaven. And boy, did I just make a lot of Baptists upset with that one. Because I know Christians who give, who give, and they only give for the purpose, and they tell me when they get that paperwork so they can claim it on the IRS. That's blowing the trumpet, my friend. And that's the wrong trumpet to be blown.